Hey, beautiful people. I am thrilled to have in studio with us, fresh back from Hawaii, savagely tan, and oh so debonair as always, Mr. Brian Johnson of Valley Mortgage. So good morning, Brian. Good morning, Eric. Thanks for having me. You bet. I think you're always a little uncomfortable with the intro in which I'm going to give when you're here. I never know what you're going to say. <laughs> uh, so, Brian, we are thrilled to have you as today's sponsor for the show. Uh, but more importantly, we love having you as a mortgage lender in our world. Uh, give us an idea of what you do and why it's important for the people out there listening. Sure. We're a mortgage banker. So all we do is home loans. We we're, we're operate just like a bank does. So we do um, conventional loans, USDA, FHA, VA loans, first-time homebuyer loans. If you're looking to move to Lakes Country, we do second homes and investment properties. Uh, so anybody who needs uh, some real estate help, uh, they can go at, to Valley Mortgage and find what they're looking for. Is that right? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, if I need a checking account open, can I go to you? No, we don't do okay. checking or savings okay, or anything. Okay, so we, and, and that's I, I bring that up a little tongue in cheek, but it's actually really important to note that you're different than a, a, a bank. You're a mortgage company. Why is that difference important? Sure, we focus just on the mortgages, so we try to find and tailor a specific programs to each specific buyer. So there's a lot of very many different programs out there. Okay, and everybody's situation is a little bit different, and the the guidelines, the underwriting guidelines, are quite involved let's say <laughs> that that's an understatement yeah <laughs> so we try to find the best program for each customer's situation whether you're self-employed uh with commission based whether you've had a bankruptcy in the last few years or even a foreclosure a few years ago with the mortgage uh crisis that hit us we try to find the best program and the best rate options for everyone along with down payment options too so uh, and and you do a wonderful job. I want to I want to cover two things with you today, BJ. Uh, but the first is this: is uh, you told me that you just saw The Big Short. I did. Uh, yeah. it, it was a movie uh, that I saw uh, just before Christmas. And then I said, "Holy cow! Uh, it's fascinating. It's a wonderful movie." Uh, if you out there in the listening audience haven't seen it or read the book, I recommend both. Uh, but then I brought our whole team to it because we thought it was an important thing for us to know. Uh, you've been around in mortgages when the mortgage crisis happened, mm -hmm. and now you're seeing a change. Walk us through that. What does that mean for somebody here locally who needs a mortgage or who, who has a mortgage? How does that impact us? Well, things have loosened up a little bit. After the mortgage crisis, uh, all the agencies, FHA, VA, um, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they tightened things up so tight that it was very difficult to get a mortgage um, from 2009 until I think within the last couple of years, things have loosened up a little bit. But recently, um, both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have started to loosen up some of those guidelines because they weren't meant to be long-term solutions to that problem. So now it's more of responsible lending, a uh, little bit back to normal, how things were before probably um, things kind of got out of hand in mid-2000s. So. so it, the the crux of the big short is it talks about the the bubble and there's some people that predicted uh, that this mortgage crisis was going to happen and yeah. nobody had ever bet against housing ever right right, right. that's right uh, and, and and these people who just looked and saw how soft some of these mortgages were because there's triple A and there's triple B and there's all these different ratings uh, essentially people were selling bad mortgages right they were pooling bad mortgages with the good ones and trying to sell them off as being Grade A, great products is what they were doing. So. Right. So uh, those of you just tuning in, uh, we have Brian Johnson with Valley Mortgage in Studio, and we're talking about the mortgage crisis that happened a few years ago. Uh, we didn't have a mortgage crisis in the Red River Valley, at least not like the rest not of the country. Not to the extent of the, of the nation, no. Uh, we're pretty secluded here. Everybody's pretty uh, conservative in this area, a little bit more responsible. Um, where it got into trouble was people were getting into these exotic mortgages where the interest rates would change after six months. So it was kind of inevitable that those, you those are called arm mortgages, right? Adjustable uh, rate mortgages, uh, option pay option arms is what those were. Okay. So after six months, your interest rate would jump up and then people would just keep refinancing. So it would, it would change. Well, as soon as interest rates would go up or in this case, when the, the bottom fell out, they weren't able to refinance anymore and which caused a whole bunch of foreclosures. In this area, we didn't have nearly as many of those. So mm -hmm. people maybe lost their homes if they lost their jobs or um, if they had an adjustable rate mortgage, things had ticked up and they weren't able to afford them. But And one of the big problems that happened, uh, again, if you've seen the movie, it'll help explain better than what Brian and I are even trying to do here, is that when you get into uh, the mortgage world, uh, it all matters on the, the price that you're paying for your house. 
and people were paying, uh, getting 100%, uh, they, they mm-hmm. wouldn't have to put any money down or very little money down, and then they'd be paying an inflated price on their house. Right. Let's say the standard was supposed to be 200000 they'd pay 220000 just because they thought home ownership was the American dream. And they, they just knew that prices would keep going up, and, mm-hmm. and so they would bet on that and then refinance down the road, take more cash out maybe to pay something off, um, and then... Eventually, what happened was value started to tumble, and people were losing some of that equity. So, so are we destined to repeat history? I think that's the question that we have to ask right now, Brian. Is as we look at this, are we destined to repeat history, and will this mortgage crisis come back and bite us again? No, I think things are a little bit, or quite a bit more conservative now, uh, and more responsible. I guess is a better term. So people are able to actually qualify for their homes. They're required to put money down. They have a little bit more uh, stake in their home ownership. So I think it's done a lot better than it was previously. Uh, Brian, there's some people listening out there who maybe will say, uh, maybe I want to refinance my house. Maybe I want to purchase a house. Uh, You should talk to Brian Johnson. BJ, how can they get in touch with you? Sure. Call my office at 701-461-8450 or visit us online at valleymortgageinc.com. Uh, that's Brian Johnson, my favorite person in the world <laughs> with Valley Mark. He laughs, but I love Brian Johnson. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, so if you need to get in touch with him, of course, if you didn't get his information, contact us at Hatch Realty. You can go to livefargomorehead.com or give us a call at 701-369-4839.